Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to this week's video. Today I want to talk about the different tools that we need for drawing and um, some of the ways that we can use them. So the first thing that you'll need to start a drawing is uh, some kind of paper or something that you can make a mark on. Um, the second thing you'll need is some kind of pencil or mechanical pencil uh, that you can use to make the marks. It could be a colored pencil or just regular. Okay. The second thing you'll need is an eraser um, like this one or uh, an eraser like this one or both. These are good for erasing small areas that you can't really get to with this. Um, lots of pencils already have an eraser on them, as you know. Um, these are good for uh, erasing some things, but n when we do drawings or sketches, we need to have an eraser other than just the one on the pencil, because they run out really fast. And lots of times we need to do lots of erasing. Something like that's really good. Um, the third thing that you'll need is some way to sharpen your pencil, or the fourth thing, I guess. Some way to sharpen your pencil, uh, if you're using like a regular pencil like this. Um, but if you have a mechanical pencil, uh, you don't really need a sharpener, right? You can just push the button and it gives you a little bit more. So that's good. Um, a sharpener like this is great. Uh, you can take it with you. It's easy to just pop the top off and empty into the trash can. Or um, an electric pencil sharpener like the ones in the studio are really good. You can use those. Alright, so that's all the things that we need to get ready to draw. Um, so let's talk about a couple ways that we can use our pencils. So we don't want to be, when we first start our drawing, making really dark marks because lots of times we're just sketching the first kind of things that we don't really want to see in the end. Um, say for example, we want to draw a car, but we need to sketch it out first. So we need to be able to sketch really lightly. If you notice, I'm holding my pencil pretty far back. I don't have my fingers up at the tip like this, um, because if I do that, uh, it's gonna put a lot of pressure up here at the front. And you can see that this mark is a lot darker than this mark. So we want to practice drawing as lightly as we can, and a good way to help you do that is just by holding your pencil a little further back and uh, pretty loosely. I'm not holding it any differently than I would up here with my hand, just moving it back. It's still gonna rest on my hand and be comfortable. I'll just have a little more control of it out here. Okay. Another way that you can do it, if you're trying to make a really large shape or a large mark, is you can put four of your fingers on one side and your thumb on the other, and hold the pencil pointing away from you, just like this. And that's going to allow us to lightly draw in a large area. You can use your whole arm instead of just your wrist or your fingers to move the pencil around and as you can see we can draw a pretty good circle like that okay and it's light enough to where if we need to change it or erase it it's super easy so if we've got a lot a large um, shape or something that we need to erase we we want to use our bigger eraser Probably not this one, because it's going to use a lot of this. So 
So you could see, even though what I had to erase was pretty big, this is not going to wear down, you know, just from doing a little bit. So it's good to have. Okay. Um, some other ways that you can use your eraser are to actually draw. So if I just mark up my page here like this, I can use my eraser here to get rid of some of those marks. And actually just draw in some new stuff. See, maybe this is somebody with a big old beard or something, some long hair. We're just using the eraser to help us to draw in some values and stuff. So not only can your eraser uh, get rid of all the things that you don't want, it can also add a lot to your drawings by making some of the darker parts lighter. Okay. Um, that's basically all you need to get started drawing. It's not a lot of stuff. Uh, you really only need one of these and one of these. And then a way to sharpen it up. All this other stuff is just fancy extra stuff. But anyway, thank you for checking out the video. And uh, I hope you learned something. Cool. See you later.